Well, while Hugh's just rolling the cigarette, this seems like a good time to give a content warning for uh, this particular project. There may be some effing and jeffing, some uh, coarse language that the young ones might not want to hear. Hey, Rob, they just like old friends. They hear old friends' demonstrations is good. I heard that. Good evening, welcome to the Daily Grind. I'm Fear. I'm Hudson. This is episode... Episode 9? Nine? 9, yes. Dude, I'm losing count, man. I really I am. I'll have to look at the last recording to mm. see what episode we're on. I think after a week, now that it's been over a week, I'm losing count. Yeah, losing my mind. I'm, I'm, work. I'm living I'm the work. same I'm fucking... Going over the, I just kept going. Loo loo, ba boo, banana hana, ba flu, peep ba ba boo, loo. Like, I just couldn't stop myself. It's awful. <laughs> oh man. So you've been in a bit of a uh, grinders on the mind phase today. For me, I, I'll be honest, man. The past few days, I've just haven't been thinking about it that much. No. Whereas the first it. sort of week, it was all the time I was thinking about a grind. Every little quote and find myself just thinking about a grind all day but yeah not at the moment so uh, we had Kasia Hudson's girlfriend watching with us today special guest I introducing think that's what mixed up a little bit mm. have a new set of eyes on it yeah man she enjoyed it as well man yeah she enjoyed it she gave it a high score should we say should we say the score yeah yeah she gave it an 8 out of 10 folks which is which with all my appreciation for the film I'm not sure I would score it quite that high she had a couple of drinks down her. She was yeah. in a good mood. I oh, it's a light-hearted film. I think she likes the light-hearted sort it's of... Easy going. Stupid jokes. Exactly, yeah. She likes that sort of stuff. And I'm sure the lagers contributed as well. Mm. The film flew by pretty quick for me today, man. I'm tired, but it flew by quick. I think we were busy we're scribbling down. I was, anyway, yeah, scribbling yeah. down. Today's quiz day. So we were jotting down some notes for the quiz. Yeah. Seeing what's what. But... I don't know if you've got much more else to say about the film. No, man, nothing a fucking tool. Like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to... Uh, it was, I was. The grind rail needs waxing, bro. <laughs> I've got nothing to say. <laughs> I think... To be fair, we're like nine episodes in. We've probably got about four hours of raw audio. The yeah, film's only fuck. an hour and five right. minutes. <laughs> We'll discuss this off air. No, um, <laughs> yeah, season one, nine episode uh, <laughs> series, <laughs> cutting it short. But no, we're spicing it up today, peoples, with a quiz. We'll see how that goes. How are we gonna? How are we gonna play this? So we're doing ten questions each. Yeah, just a question each, I think. Question each at a time, yeah, and then we'll keep score of each other's marks. All right, all right. Rustle of paper. Uh, do I go first? Rustle. There'll be lots of rustling of paper. Right. Okay. How hard are your questions, man? <laughs> Pretty obscure. Uh, I, I, I knew a lot of the answers before I wrote them down. I just wanted to confirm the answers. Right, okay, okay. But they're pretty obscure. I feel like lots of mine are sort of... You'll, you'll get the vibe of mine, and yeah. I hope they're not too boring. But I think a lot of them are relatively obscure. But anyway, let's just kick it off. Yeah, you go. Right, so, in the very first scene, when Eric is in his bedroom, just getting ready for the day, he's in his underwear, yeah. just before he leaves the house... Mm -hmm. It pans in to a skateboarding magazine on Eric's shelf. Yeah, Jimmy Wilson is skateboarding. <laughs> That's uh, one out of ten for me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was thinking, my first question was going to be, are yours so hard? I'm not going to get any of yours, am I? What was the quote below that? And it's like Brazilian pipe dream or something. Oh, dude, I can't I even remember the quote. I wouldn't have gotten that. But my first question is, what brand is Eric's bag? Etnies. Yeah. Sick. I'm happy with that. Hudson. Right, question two, Theo. So Greg went the skate shop owner. Yeah. What side is Greg's nose piercing? On his left. Yeah, nice. Two out of ten. 
I'm surprised you got the thir- first one just off the bat. I was like, sick, yeah, nice. <laughs> to be honest, that was going to be one of my questions. So I was thinking about and then you, his watch, his wristband. I was like, no. Nah. Then you saw me scribbling it down. <laughs> um, so my second question jumps back to that first scene. Yeah. On Eric's mirror, he's got a little quote. Fuck. Work and play, dot, dot, dot. Finish the quote. Skate all day? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was just a guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. Work and play are two words that mean the same thing in different contexts. No, I don't know. That's it, that was it. Oh. <laughs> that was the quote. <laughs> right, yeah, no, didn't get that. Oh, that's, that sucks for me. Okay, question three. Mm-hmm. At the first skate event that they show to, what colour is the T-shirt of the kid that Matt snatches the board off to give to Eric? Oh, is it red? Incorrect, my friend. What is it? It's yellow. Is it? With his bright blonde hair. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. See, I'm back at the shop. My my bag one. Oh, I think we'll keep up the dipping. Thing, but, yeah, um, yeah. The three decks given to Bam, what is the brand of the bottom deck? Holy macaroni. Holy shit. Okay. Not element then, obviously. No, that's... Because I pointed... We talked about it. Fuck. Because... It's not toy machine, like, is it? Hey, pass me a handful of my decks. No. Toy machine? Oh, oh, I'll, give you, I'll give you one more. Birdhouse? No, uh, it's real. Oh, I would, I would never have got that, man. Damn, that, that's a good question. Oh, yeah, speaking of, mm. you asked me to look up Bob Burnquist. At the time, he was skating for The Firm. Which the Firm! I wouldn't have ever guessed, but now he skates for Flip. Yeah, I knew he skated for Flip now, but I definitely knew back in the Tony Hawk games he used to skate for something else. Is the firm still a bad man? Do you think so? Well, it was never big here if it was. Oh, okay, sure. So, again, I think it's the first jam. They go to the Jimmy Wilson's bus. They try to give the bus driver um, their sponsor tape. Yeah. (laughs) Right. What is the picture on the tour bus driver's t-shirt. So the guy... You're assuming he's the driver. I, I am assuming he's the driver. He could be the tour manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the this, picture? In this instance, I'm assuming he's the driver. I saw he had a Hurley shirt, but... Yeah, he's got. A, he's wearing a jacket, an unbuttoned uh, yeah, shirt, yeah, yeah, like and a, a t-shirt. Yeah, th- that shirt's Hurley that he's wearing at the bottom. So I'm going to guess a wave? No. I don't know then. What it's, was it? It's a truck. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, was, I thought you were going to ask the brand, so I was like, remember Hurley. Because <laughs> everyone's wearing bloody Hurley. Did you see me scribbling it down? Yeah. All right, Hudson, Chili and yep. Such, the famous fast food restaurant. Two scoop of cheddar, one scoop of vanilla, my friend. <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> no. Are they a Coke or a Pepsi mm. brand? Mmm. Mm. So you've got 50-50 here. Right, I've got a 50-50. I Are clocked Mountain Pepsi? Dew uh, okay. on, on, in their drinks dispenser. Is that Coke or Pepsi, though? That's Coke, I think. I'm going to say Coke. It's Pepsi, man. Pepsi, 7-Up, all the, like, the Pepsi side of the drinks. Oh, it's Sprite. Oh. So, when Matt, Dustin, and Eric are chilling in the garage, yep. and Eric is like, we are super-duper skates, he's got mm-hmm. the T-shirt, and then Mr. Rivers and Eric's stepmom pull into the garage in the green VW Beetle. Yeah. What colour is the air freshener in Mr. Rivers and Eric's stepmum's VW Beetle? Blue. No, it's red, man. It's red. Uh, you can see it, it just stands out. I think that's why I picked the question. Yeah, but fair it's enough. red, it's red. Know, that's so in hell. Sorry, yeah. man. <laughs> well, right back at you, Hudson. Remember the first skate demo? You've got that overacting extra who's going mental. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What brand is this T-shirt? Oh, oh, oh. I'll give you a hint. Yeah. It's not a surf or a skate brand. You know, I was going to try and clock his T-shirt to ask you the same yeah. question, and I did not do it. I know it's green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a snowboard brand. Oh, let's give me a snowboard brand, Hudson. I'm not sure you can. Would have I heard of it? That's the question. I'd, it's like the biggest snowboard brand. I can't even... I don't know, man. I can't it's even... Burton? Yeah, I wouldn't have known. I I fair enough. Good question, because I was trying to get you on that. So, Sweet Lou mm-hmm. and Sandy, a.k.a. Wednesday, yeah, have a little yeah, interaction. Yeah. I had to think about that for a second. And, <laughs> Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Wednesday. Oh, yeah, Wednesday. So when Wednesday's dad comes and smashes the rear left back light, brake light on yeah, Lou's yeah. van, what does it say on his T-shirt? I was trying to read it, and I couldn't. I couldn't catch it. I made it out as Marines. Oh, Marie. No, Marines. I thought it was Marie. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take your answer. Uh, no, I'll give you half of that because 
I made it out as Marines. But then you said it, and then that reminded me that I thought you said Marie. Okay. So I wouldn't. I don't. I don't. No, want, I don't want okay. Yeah. okay. 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 Hudson. Yep. I think we've mentioned this before, and we didn't think it was in there. Right. But okay. when is the first and only time you see someone push Mongo in this film? Trick question. No, it's not a trick question. Uh, I don't know. I wrote that down in my drinking quiz. It's a trick question. It's that same scene, man. First scene with Sweet Lou. There's some kid pushing Mongo in the background. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh. See, these are outrageous, aren't they? They're so hot. <laughs> these are fucking ridiculous. How, How many points do I have? Two out of... Six. Question six. Yeah, you've got yeah. one so far. Oh, damn it. Right. Question seven. Yeah. yeah. What drink does Dustin give Matt when Matt sprains his taint? I've got the same question, Hudson. For question seven. It's Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's Mountain Dew. There we go, son. <laughs> you got the same question. That's so it? funny. For the same on the same one all as right, well. All right, all right. So it's both scribbling away. Uh, you go again though, because mine was the okay. same. All right. This is an obscure one. So when they're in the motel, all lying in the bed, they have that little scene. Matt farts. Yeah, the yeah, owner yeah. of the hotel's lying under the bed. He yeah, farts, yeah, yeah. and then it cuts to the scene where they're pulling out of sure. the motel and the wheels are spinning, what colour is the first white <laughs> smashed out of the part? Nice, man. Nice, yeah. Because there are two trucks, aren't There's there? There's two trucks. It's white and blue, yeah. yeah. When they're doing that poison scene, where they're singing along to uh, mm. that song, I'll uh, give you a quarter point for each answer. What is on Sweet Lou's dash? Oh, holy shit. Oh, you got... Oh, you got... How about, no, sorry. This, this is really hard, but I'll give you half a point, because you should know at least some of them. Is there a condom on there? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, uh, there's some sort of takeaway rubbish on there, isn't there? Not in that scene, you can't see it. I don't know, man. That's a, that's a great question, but I don't know. There's a hula girl. What's that? Like a girl in like, one of those grass skirts. They're like bobs and the thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's a compass. <sighs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's um, that little devil duck, like a rubber duck with devil horns. I don't think I can't even envision, envision that. And there is like a little lizard, a little toy lizard. Dude, yeah, good question. I haven't even clocked that. So, yeah, nice question, man. So, what is the name of the skate shop where Jimmy Wilson was discovered? 19... Animal Chin. 92, <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah, nice. I'd never clocked that before watching this episode. They say it, man. Animal Chin Skate Shop. Jimmy Wilson discovered here, 1992. Maybe we're early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice man. Hit me up with a question. How much off the sweaters in the Colorado skate shop? Good question. I the want to say. The deck, so you can see it. You can see it. I want every cut of the guys. You can see to it. say 50, no. 25. Yeah. And I knew it was one of those because I was like, it's fucking summer out there, man. Like obviously yeah. they're trying to push sweatshirts. Are you going to accept my second answer? I'll give you half. Half a point. Okay, 25. fair, okay, fair, fair, fair. So I think you're on question. Sorry, I need to count again. Should be the last one. Yeah, I've got a couple here, so let oh, Okay, me yeah, you, you go. Have a quick look. I don't know what happened there. Oh, okay. Um, just so you don't murk me too bad, because I'm doing shit. Ah, oh, these two are both good, though. Can I ask the ones that... We're not scoring afterwards. Yeah, okay. okay. cool. So this is the one for the points. Yep. So when they first arrive at the Santa Monica Skate Jam and they bump into the Wiggers yeah, yeah, yeah. and they've all got their backs turned, yes. the extra that doesn't say anything with yeah. stupid hair, yeah, yeah. what does it say on the back of his basketball jersey? <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask what, like, what brand hat is. Because it's Nixon. It's Echo. Because they're all just wearing Echo clothes. One of them's wearing a circa hat. Yeah, the, the hillbilly guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Jack anyway, guy. Anyway, the brand of the extra that doesn't speak. Is the, sorry, the brand. What does it say on the back of his I'm guessing Echo, but no, I don't know. No. Like, it's Ron James. It says... <laughs> uh, Kobe Bryant? No, it says um, Big Daddy One. <laughs> I thought that was pretty, <laughs> I thought that was pretty amusing. <laughs> no, I don't like fuck that. <laughs> Alright, that's my last question for you. Yeah, you've got one more for me, apparently. Know, I've got a couple more for you. Um, oh, so that, so that was the last official question. That was the last official okay. question. Alright, Hudson. Mm -hmm. This is a big one. This is a meta question as well. Just to mix it up. <laughs> yeah. What's the review on the front cover of the DVD for Grind? You're sick. <laughs> You're sick, that's sick. You are sick. Isn't it so... Oh. 
I've seen it so many times. It's only three words, man. Mm. I know I'm going to kick myself when I hear it as well. I'm, I, I'm not going to get it, man. What? Yeah, what is it? It's a riot. Oh, did you know who, is, who wrote that as no. well? No. I literally... I, oh, I, I should have got that. When I was closing the door, I glanced down at the case, saw It's a riot, and I was like, that's... So that's my last question. Because I was struggling, man. I was flagging at the end for a, a tenth question. You had some great questions, man. I feel like a lot of my questions were, what's he wearing in this scene? Which is a, it's a good, given the amount of times we've seen the film, it's not a bad question, you know. I know, but I just felt like I had too many of them. Well, there? that's why I was struggling for my last question as well, because I couldn't think of other questions other than... What's he wearing? What colour is this? But no, I thought your questions were good, man. Like, I don't know, that, I thought that, that extra one was a bit hard. Yeah, okay, that was probably my favourite one that I asked looking back. But uh, Oh, sorry, the extra one you asked. Yeah, about Burton. Oh, God, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I tried to clock it and then just missed it. So you got two and a half points, Hudson. You got a staggering five, man. Five out of ten. Five, nice. seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice, nice, nice. I have... Watch this film far too much. So a couple of mine that I've scribbled down, if you don't mind. Yeah, One yeah. of them was, <laughs> what breed is Eric's dog in the first shot? It's not a staffy, is it? I uh, think it is. That's what I. That's what I wrote. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like a staffy, but it could be like a. It could be some kind of other bulldog. But I wasn't sure, so I didn't. How much is a cup of coffee in Chile and such? Eight cents. We spoke about that. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I didn't ask that. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad you got the um, pickup truck one. Because I thought that was obscure enough, but yeah, you smashed that one. Oh, here's a good one, actually. Yeah. What brand are Matt's brown trousers that he wears throughout most of the first half of the film? Dickies. Yes. Are they Dickies? Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's why I chose the jersey one, because I was like, I think he'll get that. What brand are Eric's knee pads in the final vert I can showdown it. scene? It's only going to be bones or something. But bones don't do pads. Boneless. Boneless. Which were... Never even heard of that. Oh, uh, were they not quite a big uh, helmet brand, sort of protective gear band, brand? Maybe they were big in pads, but I never wore pads, you mm. know, I fucking wasn't a noob. Bonus question. Bonus, bonus, bonus. For a hundred points, Theo <laughs> Howard, can you answer what brand, what br 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 brand is Dustin Knight's skateboard? If I had to guess, Birdhouse. Uh, well, but, that's... I think it, you can see the name of the pro and then you can see something. No points. So. If it is Birdhouse, I'm going to look like a dick. I enjoyed that quiz, man. I, I enjoyed your questions. Yeah. Like the one with... It's hard to gauge it, though. I feel like my questions were too hard because you only got two and a half points. You probably gauged your questions better. I thought some of mine were too easy. I thought you'd get the one about the air freshener just because the little red stands out so much. No, I was looking at all the stickers and stuff in that scene. I was looking for all like the skate. Yeah. I was looking for all the skate references. When it came to stuff like that, I thought that would be just ridiculous. I thought. Yeah. Like, I thought <laughs> like, stuff like that would be way too hard. <laughs> what brand sticker does Sweet Lou have the back of his van? Exactly. On the bottom left of it. Exactly. Like, I uh... think that would be that would be some pro. That would be some oh, one question I was thinking shit. of is um, in ah oh, fuck. I can't remember where it is. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> what number girl is Jamie? One. Yeah, one. One. Oh, yeah. One on t-shirt. You should have asked me that then. Mm. Then I might have lost, Hudson, if I asked silly questions <laughs> like that. When did I get two and a half? Two and a half. You wouldn't have lost. You wouldn't have lost. Bit of bad news, man, today. The mic. Oh, yeah. I got the mic and it didn't work. So it sucks, man. Sent it back. Got the refund accepted already, so I just need to send it back. It doesn't really matter. We'll get a better one. It doesn't matter, but I was I was really hyped about the mic. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a bit better sound quality. But anyway, episode ten tomorrow. Let's make it. Let's make it a big in there. A big in. We're gonna compose our message to Sweet Lou. Uh, we are to man. try and get at least a, at least a statement. It'd be great to have a statement. I would time on the film. Man, I would even love a message back. I think that would be fantastic. Yeah, that's what um, I mean. Just trying to get him to. Mm -hmm. Do you think it will happen? Well, the dream is we get. Sweet Lou as a listener to our podcast. Oh, for that, that, that would be I would, damn amazing. I would uh, I'd be happy with this whole endeavour if that's what we got out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Something I wanted, I wanted to say to you yesterday, but I just forgot, and I was in a bit of a yeah, silly mood. When this is all over, if this is all over, in any stretch of the imagination, yeah. we should go to the skate park. <laughs> you and I, Theo. What, fly out to... Chicago. We should go to Chicago, go to Elm Park, yeah, Skate Centre, 
I think that's it. Although um, I, just, I was just looking, I was hunting it down on Google and I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. So well, it we'll, could easily be like a faux sign, but we should try our damnedest to get to that skate park and record the final episode. <laughs> the very last. I think you're right. It's so, an adventure. I think that'd be awesome, man. Yeah. I think that'd be sick. Or even, do you think the skate shop? Do their road trip. Oh my god! Oh, I don't even get me started. From Chicago to Santa Monica. Briefly plotting the map. I can't really. Oh, I think I don't know U.S. geography super well. No, but no. they seem to go kind of southeast for a bit, and then mm. along the along the southern states, and then up to California. Do you think the skate shops that they film in are real, or do you think that it's just a big set that they've just built up? I'd imagine they're real. Cause I it'd be so they're... much easier and quicker just to pay a skate shop a few thousand dollars and just exactly and they film look, a scene, you know. And they look pretty legit, don't yeah, they? So yeah, 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 I, yeah, I think they're real as well. But I thought you might have some. So we'll Might drop track. some bomb on that, but yeah, um, chin skate shop. <laughs> well, yeah, we should go somewhere when when this to record the fight. Jimmy Wilson discovered <laughs> here, nineteen ninety two. I wonder if they still got the sign. <laughs> I doubt it, but I think that would be a sick ending to the whole thing. <laughs> if it does, if it ever does. Yeah, yeah, God, God. Yeah, this is listen. Uh, this is episode two thousand three hundred twenty-six of the Daily Grind. We have literally fuck all to say. Yeah.